Alright everybody, it's me in the game, and welcome back to episode 3 of Let's Play Minish Cap. In the last episode, yeah, it just happened. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go through here, yada yada, we can go talk to everybody and they're gonna have zero information for us. I do not care. The main person we are here for is Malari. I feel like all the important Minish have Ari in their name. I wonder, which one of these could be the main protagonist? Bring clothes and not hat. Oh wait, I'm the protagonist. Huh? <laughs> yeah, okay, Laurie Master Smith. I thought my grandpa was Master Smith. <laughs> oh god, I'm. Yeah. Yes, reforge the sword for me. Yada yada. So we're gonna lay down the sword pieces. How long is it gonna take? Well, that depends on how long it takes me to defeat the dungeon. Oh, and uh, yeah, I missed a heart piece last time, so we'll get that on the way out. I'm going to the mine. Yes, I talked to the boss. Get out of my way. Alright. At least it makes up for it. Now, you can hate yourself, and you can jump off this cliff now. Don't fucking do it. Go ahead and activate that, and we're going to go north. You can go down once we get the item from the dungeon. Just for the love of God. Wait. Wow, it's so hot in here. Wait, are we minish size? Yes, we are. No, we're not. Oh, we we came up. Yeah, see, this is... So the first dungeon, we were minish size. Second one, we're not. Oh, God, it's the bombs. That's what I like about the Capcom games, is they're just like... What? Mario? What's that? I don't, I've never heard of that. I just named characters after the Mario ones, even though... They're very clearly a reference. It's not a ripoff. It's an homage. So you can get out of any copyright issues. Just like, no, no, no. Obviously, you can't get into a copy. I know they're both Nintendo. I'm just saying. No, I, I didn't copy the uh, entire instrumental to your song. Uh, like, like, the worst enemy in Zelda. I remember in Zelda 1 when they ate your, uh, your shield. At least in this one, if you uh, kill him after eating the your shield, they, uh, they give it back. Zelda 1 is brutal. I, uh, know very few people from my generation in person who, uh, will actually go ahead and try to beat Zelda 1. Huh, it's a cart. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's what we used to get around. Have you not been in mines? Well, probably not. We. It's like a trip to Six Flags. Come on, kill these guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want to get through this one. You thought the first dungeon was fast. You haven't seen how badly I want to get through here. Boom. <laughs> Literally. Huh, now I wonder. I've never seen a Zelda gimmick before where nothing's here. There's a lot of enemies. I wonder. Perhaps if I kill the enemies, will it activate what I'm supposed to get in this room? Oh, you son of a bitch. I will murder you and your family. I don't even care that I'm below two hearts. Huh, there's a portal hidden away after all of that. Huh. Ezlo, I know you're up to shenanigans. Not just because I've played this before, but because, literally, you're a sketchy character. And there's one single heart piece in this dungeon, and that's it. So we will come back for it. Do not forget. Damn it. Oh, that's right. We have to go over here. Alright. So, let's go over here to the K, or to the end, because we need to resize ourselves. Let's grab uh, probably the compass. Or is it the map? I do not know. Oh, 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 we need you. We need you. You're the sole person who can donate to save our campaign. Now that 2020 is over, I will never donate to a campaign in my life. Just saying. Instant piece, and then I believe this is the. Come on. 
I, yeah, it's lava, obviously. Nobody's going to intentionally fall on lava. Take the bag. Pot, whatever. Oh, so I looked it up. Uh, the Gust Jar is in other Zelda games. Just ones I have not played. It's uh, funny because my brother and I made sure that we had pre-ordered a copy of Skyward Sword on uh, release day. And as of January 10th of 2021, I have not played it. I, well, I, I played like 10 minutes of it. Let's position that here to go in. Grab, ooh, 50 rupees. Impressive. And do this. It's really annoying when you think A is actually going to do something. But yeah. But the uh, pre-order and everything, I still, I think he still has the box. I have the Wiimote. Uh, with the uh, CD and everything in it. And uh, I've not yet played it. Also don't know a lot about the plot also, so that's kind of fun as well. I believe in here is going to be the key. Uh, this is, honestly, it is one of the fastest dungeons. As long as I kind of just go with the left or right. We're going to go right because we needed a key, didn't we? Yep, there we go. I mean, this isn't... This, is it this way? Yes, it is. Okay. I honest to God don't know what I'm doing. And now that we flip that way, yes. No? I don't think that's that's all we have to do. Is it? Does it go all the way up? Oh, yes, it does. Okay. I think there's another step. So, there's nothing we can do on that side, but there's a bombable wall opposite of it. Alright, here we go. Wait, what is the mid boss here? I'm trying to remember. What is the mid boss? Oh well. It's not like we're gonna run out of bombs anytime soon. Honestly, there are two more bomb upgrades. Like, what the hell? 30 is enough. There are games where they don't even let you have 30. I expect you to be plentiful. Like, that's actually where I got stuck. In Zelda 1 was fighting the Dodongos. Oh, it's just spiky shoes. I should choose -choo you. Um, but yeah, I just got stuck at the Dodongos because I couldn't uh, save up enough bombs to kill them all. Or it was either that or the uh, Dark Nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, just come on, give me my hyperblade. Come on. Just, I could lay a bomb and just be done with it, but I'm not going to. This is more fun. It's not a it's not a war crime if you are the one torturing yourself. All right, Kane Apache. Here we go. I went for years calling it the Kane Apache, and somebody says Apache, and now I can't say it. The like Kane Apache, the pirate. Why don't I take the can you yeah, shut up? Hey there we go, portal. Shows we're decent of the a decent amount of the way through. Speak even on top of the speech impediment. I uh, also have an interesting um, I mean my teeth weren't that bad, but I have braces now, which makes my enunciation more difficult. Not like I honestly was putting effort into enunciation in the first place. Now I just become, have become more self-conscious about it, on top of everything else. Like, I needed something else to be more self-conscious about. Alright, here we go. And to be honest, the, uh... Oh, oh that's right, that up is a pathway. Me talking to a microphone as I play video games is the most communication I've had with anybody since the middle of 2020. Unfortunately, for how it is. Uh, come on. Come on. You just gotta get through here. The music is definitely not lacking. And once you're human sized enough, these things become issues. Yes. 
because we came in through here as a small person. And then we'll go ahead and flip that, hop in here. Alright, we're going to pick you up. Ah, there's four of these and four holes. I wonder what could that lead to. Also, they can come back out of the hole eventually. Which is a good thing if you are uh, smart enough to put this in the other hole up there. And if I'm wrong, at least you can exit the room and come back if you've done that. I drop that, hit that. Alright, here we go. On to the last leg of this, I believe. Ish. Nope. So we'll go over here. Hit the can of Apache. <laughs> Apache. Ooh, kinstone piece. Worthless. Kinsto uh, green kinstones are both worthless and valuable at the same time. It just... There's no in-between. They're abundant, but you'll get... Uh, so there's three, three of them. Uh, and you will get more of one kind than the other. And you won't need the one that you have a lot of, but you will need one that you don't have any of. God damn it. One. There we go. All right. So there is the boss room. There is the red portal. What we are doing now is we are circling around to get into that chest so that we may. Yeah. I... Oh, I did have enough time. Damn it. Uh, so that we can get that chest and hop off over there. Come on. Here we go. It's a lot of fun if you can do it all at once. If you're not like me. Cool thing with that is you can also attack the pots. Damn. Do I get a heart? Nope, just rupees. Oh, come on! You would think for me dropping myself into lava, I wouldn't get a quarter of a heart off. Be uh, more significant. I can hit, get hit by worthless enemies that will take more life from me than that. We're talking about lava. Okay, over here to the right. Okay, traps. And stones. Damn it, that was not worth it. That was not worth it, one iota. Come on, one more up here. Okay, then we're gonna pop into here. That's well, the cane Apache. There we go. It's kind of interesting to think that uh, a cane can blast some sort of magic that'll push you up without causing any permanent damage to your body. Oh hey, they labeled out the path for us. You know, half the time Zelda games are very obvious, the other half they are so vague. Either that or I'm just completely stupid and on the spectrum. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, now here's where the challenge begins. Because there are many of these, but you also want to go up and grab each of the uh, chests. It's a lot of fun when you go in here and you don't know that you can buy the first wallet upgrade at the beginning of the game and you get all the way there and you're just collecting all of these rupees and it's worthless because you don't have room. I cry for many of children who have suffered a similar fate. Alright, there we go. Trust me, it'll get more annoying as time goes on. Okay, so we got that. And we're gonna come over here to the second one. Yeah, we're just about 15 minutes in and are just now getting the boss key. Which is good. This is good. This is what we want. 
We want an episode that doesn't take up the uh, time slot of a full network TV show. Ooh, fairy, thank you. Can't pass up the money. So, going into the boss, obviously you're going to need your dungeon item and the sword. This is Gleerock. Gleerock, one of the two. One of the coolest. And I wish he could come back. More so than the other ones. Any other uh, boss from this game specifically, he is my favorite and I wish he would come back. Okay, so get that off and then just come over here. Much like what we did with the other game, or other boss. And then when he starts retracting into the lava, he's gonna start doing this. I believe this is what happened kind of similar to Dodongo in Ocarina of Time. I would not know, I have not played Ocarina of Time. I'm one of those people. Come on, and he's gonna blast fire everywhere. And when you get hit with fire, you get this, which is just irritating as piss. Come on. It's really annoying when uh, other enemies light you on fire and you just end up running around. Especially when there is no path to run around. Oh, that's cool. I've never, I've never even noticed this. There's like these carvings in the back. That's cool. See, Glee Rock, I can tell, was already for years, possibly millennia, chosen as the guardian of this element. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Oh, is that it? Or is that all it's gonna let me? Damn it, I didn't give it enough time. <laughs> Stop setting the whole stage on fire. Is that too much to ask of you, oh ancient one? Stop protecting the thing you were sworn to protect. should be it. Come on. There we go. Play your rock. Oh, Ancient One, you have been destroyed. Which means I have fulfilled my end of the coupon. And I would like my free pan pizza, please. Oh, this music. Like, oh, hey! Don't land on the green portal first. And then, because you... There's no green portal at the end. Which, I mean, it's easy. You get in the red portal, you come back. But it's still, just, just do it this way. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fiber, fi fire. But it's over now. I suppose we should get back and speak to Malari. I suppose we should. Let's do this real quick. That was fast work, but I did finish the sword. Yeah, it was fast work. We got this done in time, is what we did. To the elemental sanctuary, yada yada. Hyrule Castle. Incredible. I'm so thankful I can skip text in this game. To write 300,000 words that could essentially be skipped over while still having the full of Zelda game experience, it's amazing. So anyway, so what I was talking about earlier with the, uh, for the love of God, don't jump down. Go down. <laughs> now with the Cane Apache, we know what we can do there, but it, it takes you down. Decently down. Uh, but. Alright, so that does it for today. And without further ado, I have been me in the game. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cavern.